It's Saturday, and that means in exactly one week from today, I'll be at Crawl Masters. Now, today, my goal is to finish the truck. Finishing the truck today is going to be difficult, but at least I want to try and get all the major stuff done. I need to get everything wired. The ESC, the servo winch controller. Since you saw it last, some work has been done. I got the body sanded and painted. Now, the body, I'm a little disappointed with the quality. Now, it's got nice thick Lexan, so that is, you know, where you normally feel like quality issues happen. The window masks were actually really nice as well. They were different than I've used before. They were almost a transparent style. The problem is, is that the, the Lexan pole quality isn't that great. It's got these weird waves. They're not, almost like bubbles in some spots, and then you can just see like a grain to the whole thing. Um, and the second issue is, is that I used the wrong silver paint. I mean, it was Tamiya paint, so it's for Lexan and all, but it's it, it's further from regular the silver that I was looking for, and much closer to a almost like a spray chrome. So not super pumped on that. There isn't any grill decals for this thing, and there is headlight decals, but they're red, being that it was on a mega truck. I kind of get that, um, but there's just no other. There's no window trim decals. And I guess that's all just an excuse because it's built, you know, after a mega truck. But it just seems like a kind of cheesing out on what is not a cheap body. So I'm less than thrilled with the finish quality of that. But I really like the Willys truck styling. So uh, today I'm also going to try and draw up a very simple grill that I can 3D print and put onto this body. Look at some full size pictures and get some rough inspiration, but I am by no means trying to make a very scale accurate grill. I also do still plan to try and shoot some black on the fenders. I know that the full size would have a body colored fender, but I'm just going to shoot some black on it just to add a little bit more definition here and there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for window trims yet. I was thinking about going through my huge box of old bodies, and I'm sure that there's times that I've not applied window trims, and I'm wondering if I can cut and splice together something that looks like an actual window trim decal for this body. My new Gen Zace batteries did come for the build. Like I said, I'm gonna be running 4S. So the ones that I got are the R-Line uh, batteries. They're 4S, 1300 milliamp, but most importantly, they're 95C. This is their highest C rating that I've seen in this 1300 pack. These are the ones that I'm gonna run. I need to make the battery tray today in addition to all of the wiring and all of that. So that's a big list of stuff to get done with quite a bit of CAD work and 3D printing to try and fit in there as well. So it's uh, it's gonna be a tall order to try and get all of that done today and I'm not really looking to be here super late again. So we'll see how uh, either of those two goals go.
So I know I said I didn't want to be here late, but that happened still. But the truck is wrapped up. I think I'm pretty much done. The only one thing I haven't done uh, is got front body posts put in. And uh, I'm going to investigate one more time just to see if there's anything I should do other than body posts. But I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go quick and dirty, super simple body posts. Other than that, I've driven the truck got the winch to work. I re-spooled the winch in the other direction the way that I had talked about before. So that's got a nice smooth pull. The 4S power is awesome. Uh, I think my gearing is good. I'm dead set on exactly where it's at. I got the Castle Mamba X programmed to how I wanted it. I threw it in the Castle Link, put a little bit of an Expo in it just with this uh, increased voltage. I wanted that, that smooth ramp in there. So I did it in the ESC rather than in the radio. I did get the new fuel cell installed and I put some detail hardware around the outside. Um, I had drawn that in. I would just done, you know, printed hardware around the outside. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Um, I could go in and hit those each individually with a silver Sharpie, but definitely not gonna do that. Perfect size for this truck. It fits perfectly behind the servo mount and in front of the motor. I've made that simple little battery tray, super, super easy. Cut it out, bent it, and it fit exactly how I wanted. Keeps everything protected from the pinion. I put my receiver right up here, just behind the servo. I ended up putting the ESC back here. I could have laid it flat, but I just didn't like how it was fitting in here. It's a little tight in this, uh, you know, kind of boat side or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, rocker area. So I put it up top, you know, granted it could be a little lower profile or, you know, lower CG, but it's fine. I'm not super worried about it. I put the winch controller down here. I freaked out for a half a second. I didn't know if that winch controller was capable of 4S. I had wired it right into the battery plug. I didn't actually put a BEC in here because I realized it's got a winch controller that pulls its own power. It's not taking the power of a servo. So I didn't need to do an external BEC. Um, but I didn't know if that winch controller could take 4S. So I sent a message over to PowerShift RC. Jonathan got back to me super quick, confirmed it can. Didn't have to redo any of my wiring. That was a, a big way to, you know, there's nothing worse than getting everything wired, plugging your battery in and seeing white smoke come out of your winch controller. I've done it before. Right now I've just got the included power shift hook on there. I'm gonna need some sort of land anchor or some sort. You know, um, I might just go the, you know, quick and dirty route and I might just go get a treble hook, um, cut off one of the other tangs, grind the, the points down a little bit so they're not so ridiculously sharp, but I'll just get a big one so that it can hook in, but it's got a, and it's got a nice sharp bite. They actually work pretty well. Now the body I did paint since the last time you saw it, it's way more of a chrome color than the silver I was looking for, uh, but added some decals and it, it looks okay. Uh, this door decal and the Willie's decal here on the side, those were done by Timp RC on Instagram. He sent me a message, asked if he could, you know, do some stickers for it, and it's, that was an awesome uh, offer. So I took him up on it, came up with something simple. He got them out to me in the mail, and perfect timing. They came today. I threw them on there. It helps, you know, break up this uh, paint job that I did, which, you know, it is what it is. I was only going to go sil single color, but whatever. The other thing is, as I talked about, is the J Concepts, what they included. Now, there was technically a grill decal I found, but it just looked ridiculous. So, it, you know, I didn't end up doing it. I did get the 3D printed version done, and I put that on the front there. And then I added some scale hardware across the top that I had designed in. You can see it bolt in there. I did some, I did a clip style on the bottom of the 3D print just to hold it in place. I could add some shoe goo to this if I'm worried about it. I also have Gorilla Tape, clear Gorilla Tape lining the inside of the body um, in a lot of places. Let's see if we can get it. So you can see it right there, that line. I do that just anywhere where the cage stuff may rub or anything like that, just to keep it from wearing through completely. 
super simple. Um, on the headlight side, since there was no headlights included other than the red mega truck ones, I actually had a uh, Freaky Skins race day accent pack here. Um, threw some headlights and turn signals on the front. Super easy. Um, I thought about doing a panel on there that could either take a light bucket or I could put that race day sticker behind. Um, but I'm just, I'm out of time. I didn't, you know, I didn't have enough time today. And anyway, I'm here later than I wanted to be. I did paint the fenders on this body black. And then I used a VS410 window decal to do a uh, windshield detail line. It was actually the factory uh, window trim decal for the rear window on the VS410. So perfect fit. On the rear, I used these motor washers, this cap head washer thing, uh, that's an incision part. And that that will work as the washer for the body when, uh, when you're installing it. So that'll help keep the body in place and uh, will help from ripping through that cap head screw if I ever catch it on anything, which I'm sure I will. So other than the front body mounts, this thing is ready to go to Crawl Masters. I could take and compete with it exactly like it is. So I'm ready, it's, so I feel good. Today was productive. Overall, I think this truck turned out really badass. I'm super pleased with it. You can see here now that, you know, the interior's in there. This is all cleaned up. The panels I made in the back there so you can't see into the interior. Um, the uh, center driver monster truck style position, I'm happy with. So you guys will see this thing on the rocks for Crawl Masters next weekend. I'll shoot some video there, I'm sure, and I'll make sure to get that uploaded right after the event. I hope you guys enjoyed another fab series like this. It was super fun to get back to, and definitely I will be doing more of these because it was a lot of fun. So wish me luck next weekend. Hopefully I can place mid-pack somewhere. That's always my goal. Uh, you know, I didn't build a crazy comp rig. I just built a very nice truck that I really am looking forward to driving, and my driving skills are you know, mid pack as well, probably. But as far as the actual build series goes, we're gonna call it a wrap. It's been a good one. I really appreciate all the comments, likes, suggestions, everything. Thanks for watching, guys. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're not already, hit the notification bell so you see them as soon as they pop up, and we'll see you on the next one.